Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about Microsoft Paint. It is a very easy and simple program which allows us to create basic graphic art on a computer. It comes along with all versions of Microsoft Windows operating system. MS Paint allows us to draw, paint and edit pictures using various tools such as brushes, erasers, pens, etc. Let's start by learning where to find paint and start the application. First click on the start button in the lower left corner of the desktop. Then click all programs, accessories and then click the paint program. Let's understand different components of the paint window which opens up. We will explore the title bar, quick access bar, menu bar, paint button, ribbon and the drawing area. The bar that is present on the top of MS Paint window is called title bar. It displays name of the drawing and the application name paint on it. There are three buttons available on the right side. These are minimize, maximize and close button. On left of the title bar is the quick access toolbar. It has options to save, undo, redo and a drop down list to customize itself. Below the title bar is the menu bar which has options of paint button or file, home and view selection. We will cover them in detail a bit later. Below the menu bar is the ribbon. The ribbon changes with change in menu that is home and view. All the tools and commands which we are going to use are grouped together in the ribbon. If the home tab is selected, it shows all the tools, brushes, shapes and colors you use to make the drawing and also has the image selection and resizing tools. The view tab has options to zoom or view the image in full screen mode. The drawing area is the actual area where you are going to draw your image. Let's now understand how to use each of these options in detail. The paint button or home opens up the main menu of paint. To create a new drawing in paint, you click the new option. When you start paint application, it automatically opens a new drawing area for you and you do not need to click new. Storing your work is known as save. To save your drawing, there are two options available in Paint. First is on Quick Access Toolbar as Floppy Icon and another is in Paint Button or Home tab. When you click on any of them, the Save As window appears. You can type any name for your drawing in file name and click on Save button. It will save your drawing in default PNG file format. The Paint button also has the option to open and edit your old drawing which you have already saved. If you click on the open option, the open window appears. You can then select the drawing you want to open and click on open button. When you have finished your drawing, you can take its print out by selecting print option. The print dialog box appears where you need to click on the print button. To exit from paint, you can either select the exit option or click the close button on the right corner of the title bar of the paint window. We will now cover the various tools which are available in the home tab. When you click on the home tab, you see a selection of tools. If you click on the yellow pencil and bring your mouse on the drawing area, your cursor changes to pencil and you can now drag your mouse to draw freehand lines with a hard edge. The size option lets you change the thickness of the pencil. You can also change the color of the line by selecting color 1 first and then selecting any color from the color palette in colors. Next to pencil is bucket tool. This tool fills a selection with the current foreground color or color 1 in the color palette. Next to it is the text tool. 
It is used to write text on the drawing area. The moment you select the text tool and click and drag your mouse to create a text frame, you will see that the text appears in the menu and the ribbon changes. It provides you the option to select the desired font and font size or select the font styles of bold, italic or underline. You can also select the background to be transparent or set it opaque. You can also change the color of the text from the color palette. Below the pencil tool is the eraser which is used to erase any part of the picture you have drawn. You can change the size of the eraser from the size drop down box. Your cursor takes the shape of the eraser when you click on eraser and bring it to the drawing area. Now if you drag your mouse on any area you have colored, it will erase it using the background color you have set in color 2. The tool next to the eraser is the color picker tool. It is used to pick or select a color from any portion of an image. When you click on this tool and then click on your mouse pointer over any color in your drawing area, the color 1 or foreground color changes to this color. You can now use this color for any of your drawings. Next to it is the magnifier tool. Selecting this tool will allow you to zoom in and out of an image. You can select the tool and click on the part of the drawing you want to magnify. Every right click will now zoom in and left click will zoom out the image. Paint also has a brush tool which can be used to paint fuzzy brush strokes. This tool is suitable for painting soft areas of color. If you click on brushes, you will see the options of brush tool. There are two types of calligraphy brush, airbrush, oil brush, crayon, marker, natural pencil and watercolor brush. You can select a brush of your choice and then choose the size and color as well. The cursor on the drawing area will indicate the thickness of the brush as well. Now by dragging the mouse on your drawing area, you can paint with your selected brush. In the home tab, there is select option in image group or section. Within it, select all option selects the whole image. There are two other rectangular selection and freeform selection options. Rectangular selection allows you to select a rectangular portion of the image. You can click and drag the mouse over the portion of the image that is to be selected. A box with dotted line appears when you release the mouse button. Freeform selection tool is used to select a regular portion of an image. You can draw the area which you want to select. When you release the mouse button, note that the outline will still turn into a rectangle. Paint does not have the functionality to select shapes other than squares and rectangles. This selected area can be moved anywhere on the drawing or copied. Paint also has standard Windows clipboard option of cut, copy and paste. Once you have done a selection, the cut command removes the selected portion of an image as if you have cut it out with a pair of scissors. The cut portion of the image is not deleted. It is stored in temporary place called the clipboard. You can then use the paste command to paste that is insert the selected portion of an image anywhere in the same image or another image too. Once you click paste, the image appears on top left corner of the drawing area. You can then drag it to the desired location on your image. Once you have done a selection, you can also first press copy to copy the same image on clipboard and then paste it anywhere on the same page or another image. The cut or copied image can be pasted as many times as you want. Next are shape tools. Let's look at each one of them. 
The line tool has the image of a diagonal line on it. Use this tool to draw straight lines in your picture. You can select the thickness from the size drop down box and click color 1 to change the color with which you want to draw. Now if you drag the mouse on the drawing area, it draws a line. Do note that the moment you select the shape, the outline drop down next to it gets enabled. Using this, you can choose the brush you want to draw the line with. Next to line is the curve tool. The curve tool allows you to draw a line with one or two arcs in it. To draw a curve, Click on the button with the image of a curvy line on it. You can select the thickness from the size drop down box and click color 1 to change the color with which you want to draw. To draw the curve, you first draw a straight line by dragging your mouse on the drawing area. Now you click on the line where you want the curve and drag the mouse pointer to adjust the curve. If you want a second curve, you again click on the line and drag the mouse pointer to adjust the curve. Only two curves can be made on a line. From the outline drop down, you can choose the brush you want to draw the curve with. Next is oval or ellipse tool. It is used to draw circles and ovals. Once you select the tool and drag the computer mouse diagonally, it can be used to draw circles or ovals. The size and color can be selected from the palette as earlier. Do note that the moment you select any close shape along with the outline, fill drop down next to it also gets enabled. Using this, you can choose the brush you want the shape to be filled with. To draw a perfect circle, you can press and hold the shift key while dragging the mouse. Next is the rectangle tool which has an image of rectangle drawn with solid line on the button. You can use this tool to draw rectangles in your picture. You can adjust the size, color, outline or fill for the rectangle as per your choice. To draw a perfect square, you can press and hold the shift key while dragging the mouse. Next to it is the option of rounded rectangle. It draws a rectangle with rounded corners. Use the rounded rectangle tool in the same manner you would use the rectangle tool. Similarly, we use the polygon tool which is next to the rectangle tool. This tool allows you to make a shape with as many lines or different angles to form the shape of a polygon. To create a polygon, you first select the tool and draw a straight line on the drawing area. Now you release the mouse and click on the point where you want the second line. Now you repeat this for all of your sides. You can double click on your last point and paint will automatically complete the polygon. As with other shapes, you can adjust the size, color, outline or fill as per your choice. There are many more choices of shapes available. You can click and try them in your drawings. If you liked our video, do press like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.